in this episode, I'm going to show you how to get started with Thunderbird. Okay, so I'm here at Thunderbird.net and I am going to go ahead and download this application on my computer. You'll see at the top right, my file is ready to open, but it's actually bringing me to this screen, asking me to donate. And I was actually able to bypass the donate screen because I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes. So I didn't donate anything right now. And then after you donate, the download file is no longer available. So you're going to have to go to your downloads folder to get it. And I'm loading this onto a Mac. I got to go to my downloads folder and grab this. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down to other and locate the Thunderbird application. All you have to do is double click it to open it. And when the window appears, just drag and drop the Thunderbird application into the folder. Okay, there it is. I'm going to go to my launch applications window and I'm going to launch Thunderbird. And I'm going to choose open. And now it's asking me for my information. And so now all you have to do is enter in your Yahoo name email and password. I don't want the system to access my contacts. So I'm gonna say don't allow and then choose confirm to continue. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is choose IMAP. You don't wanna do pop. And so when you get to this screen, I would recommend choosing IMAP because when you delete it once, it deletes it everywhere, whether you're using an iPhone, desktop or a tablet. And so now I'm going to just go ahead and choose done. The Yahoo login window appears. My email credentials are still in the system. I'm just going to go ahead and choose next. Enter my password and then choose next. It's asking me to stay verified. I'm just going to say not now. And then it's going to send me information to my authenticator. So I got to, I got to authenticate this. Okay. Now it's saying, by agreeing, you'll allow Thunderbird to access Yahoo Mail to read and write. And I'm going to go ahead and choose I agree. Okay, now I'm going to choose finish. You've got use Thunderbird as the default client for my email. And now we need to determine whether or not to turn on the spotlight search. I'm turning it on because it makes emails easier to find right from your search bar. Whether you're on a Mac or Windows, it works the same way. And now all you have to do is choose set as default to continue. Okay, so now this looks exactly like my email account in Yahoo. The difference is I am now using Thunderbird. Take a look at all my emails are starting to come in now. All of my emails are coming in. You're going to see all of my emails are populating in the folders. You see that? And you're going to also notice that right now I have over 1,000 emails in my inbox. Okay. So the emails are coming right in to Thunderbird. Once you make your connection with Thunderbird, you're going to receive a message from Yahoo Mail. And it's going to say new sign in on Thunderbird, letting you know that someone has made a connection with your Yahoo email account to this third party application. And then of course, you know, you scroll down and it lets you know if it's not you, then you can just click this link to revoke that third party access to your account. So once you're done with this system, you can still do that. Go in there and revoke the access once you've cleaned out your emails. Okay, so before you get started, I'm just going to show you a screenshot of the Thunderbird privacy notice. You may have to pause this window to see what it says, but it was the, the last time it was updated was May 9th, 2025. And I'm just going to kind of scroll down and you will see whether or not you would like to use their service. So here we go. So Thunderbird collects data to improve performance stability and functionality for our users. You can pause and read this as well as set up, configure and process your email. Set up and configure your calendar desktop only. 
pause the screen and you can read this information here. Review crash reports. Information about improving security for our users everywhere. Information about installing and updating add-ons desktop only. The use of auth information. And then it talks about who Thunderbird may disclose information to. And then, of course, information on how to contact them, as well as how to donate. This was just information on how to download and connect. If this was helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So I'll see you on the next episode. Oh,